Hello students. Now we are going to learn about Newton's law of motion. In 1687, Sir Isaac Newton published his three laws. Newton outlined his understanding of motion and a lot of his ideas were totally new. Today, more than 300 years later, if you are trying to describe the effect of forces on just about any everyday object, a box on the ground, a reindeer pulling a sleigh, or an elevator taking you up to your apartment, then you are going to use Newton's law. Newton's first law is all about inertia, which is basically an object's tendency to keep doing what it's doing. It's often stated as an object in motion will remain in motion, and an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by a force. Which is just another way of saying that to change the way something moves, you need net force. So, how do you measure inertia? Well, the most important thing to know is the mass. Let's say you have two balls of different masses. The heavier ball is going to be harder to move and to stop once it starts moving. And this idea connects nicely to Newton's second law. Net force is equal to mass times acceleration. Or as an equation, F net is equal to m e. It is important to remember that we are talking about the net force here. As for Newton's third law, you probably know this law as for every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction, which just means that if you exert a force on an object, it exerts an equal force back on you. So now it's time to test your understanding. Thank you for watching.